My shadow is hiding in a computer mouse. Face powder is ringing in an alarm clock. And mascara is disguising as a frying pan handle. Is it a magical dream? It's new weird makeup ideas of how to turn everyday things into cosmetics. Belle is getting ready for bed. She's completed her evening routine. The face cream is on. The eyebrows are perfect. It's time to have a rest. But what if a Prince Charming suddenly comes to kiss the Sleeping Beauty? I need to put on my lipstick right now. It's great that my makeup is always on hand. Now I can sleep tight. Belle wakes up all of a sudden when she hears a strange sound. Oh, it's a nightmare! All of her makeup is missing. There's a strange alarm clock on her shelf and a strange visitor in her room. It's a dream fairy, and she has prepared the first gift for Belle. It's a weird alarm clock. What do I need an alarm clock for if all of my makeup is missing? It's a disaster! But the fairy calms me down by offering a powder puff. My makeup is disguising as everyday things now. Cover a face powder container with acrylic paint. Attach a paper dial to the top of the powder compact using double-sided tape. Heat a knife and cut the screw thread off a plastic cap shaped like a semi-sphere. Prick it with a heated awl. We will need two identical details. Paint the caps to be of the same color as the alarm clock. Fold the end of the wire. Pass it through the cap. Bend the wire to shape an arch. Insert it into the second detail and fold to fasten. Hot glue the bells to the alarm clock. Hot glue the tip of a ballpoint pen as a stand. Attach three legs two on the front and one at the back. It's a miracle! There are no pointers and mechanisms inside the alarm clock. There is a real face powder. Now, Belle can powder her nose for hours and hours. Though the face powder is hidden inside of the clock, she loses track of time anyway. The fairy is tired of waiting. A real journey to dreamland is ahead of them. The fairy is cooking breakfast for her new friend. But Belle can't look at food when her eye makeup isn't done. The fairy should have prepared eyeshadow for breakfast. But the magician knows how to fix the situation. She swings her magic wand and turns a frying pan handle into mascara. Spray paint a round metallic lid. Paint the inside white. Put mascara onto the rim. Make marks. Make a slanted pad out of hot glue. Make sure the mascara is attached to the lid at an angle. Hot glue the joining. Dip your fingers into water and smooth the hot glue. My goodness! Belle has never suspected what a beauty treasure is hiding in her frying pan. Apparently, she should cook more often. The fairy obviously can cast spells better than cook. The fried egg lacks salt and spices. Belle's wish is a command. Spices appear on the table right away. But Belle chooses the wrong container. There is eyeshadow instead of cinnamon. Take a salt shaker and put loose eyeshadow in it. Clean the neck with a Q-tip. Attach a printed cinnamon label to the container. I can emphasize my eyes with this spice. I can eat dessert while the fairy is away. Oops! Someone must have forgotten to wash their hands. The dream fairy is a hygiene protector. She puts a spell on my spoon and makes me go to the bathroom with it. Grate a soap base and melt it in a microwave. Add a few drops of silver food coloring. Mix it and pour into a teaspoon silicone mold. The soap hardens in a couple of hours. Correct the shape using a knife and cover it with edible pearl powder on top. 
Michelle starts rinsing the spoon and understands what it actually is. It's a soap spoon! Excellent! The fairy will be satisfied now. Oh no! Something is wrong again! My lips are dull and pale. There is either not enough lipstick or not enough light, and the light bulb has burned out at the most inopportune moment. But the fairy comes to the rescue. She casts a spell on the light bulb. Let there be light and gloss. Remove the electrical contact from a light bulb using a knife. Take out the stem with the wires using pliers. Be careful not to break the glass bulb. Bend the sharp edges of the cap inside. The hole should be wide enough to fit your lip gloss. Wrap the cap with painter's tape and cover the light bulb with yellow spray paint. Take the tape off when the paint is dry and hot glue a lip gloss inside. Cut off the lip gloss cap with a heated knife and hot glue a cap of the appropriate size. We have used a glue stick cap. Belle unscrews the lamp. Wow! There is a real lip gloss inside! Now my lips will shine bright, even when it's dark. The room has turned into a real dreamland. I need to share this on Facebook immediately. But my fairy isn't fond of technology. She loves old-fashioned paper books. Stop sitting in front of a computer. The fairy puts a spell on my computer mouse. Take apart a broken computer mouse. Remove the inside details. Cut out all the protruding plastic details with a heated knife. Cut an eyeshadow palette so that it fits inside the mouse. Hot glue. Take out the scroll wheel. Cut it in half using a heated knife and hot glue it in the hole. Cut off a USB cable and hot glue it to the mouse. Attach an eyeshadow applicator to the other end of the cable. Wow! This is what we call new beauty technologies. There is eyeshadow in the mouse and an applicator instead of a USB plug. The fairy has her own magic book. I don't have this edition in my library. I wonder what she hides in it. There must be some beauty secrets or a whole makeup set. Take an old book and glue end papers together. Take a strip of thick cardboard and make a frame border along the back side of the cover. Paint the frame light. Run a toothbrush along it while the paint is still wet. It will imitate pages. Hot glue it to the cover. Attach the frame ends to the spine and hot glue a separate strip of cardboard to cover the spine. You've got a box. Paint it gold inside. Decorate the lid using gold pattern tape. Hot glue a makeup set to the bottom of the box and attach a mirror to the lid. The fairy suggests searching for the same book in the pile, but she has the one and only copy. All of my books are made out of paper and not out of glitter and shimmer. At last, the fairy's heart melts. She gives this unique beauty book edition to me. The fairy's gotten hooked on putting spells on everything around. For example, this screwdriver will make a great eye pencil. Cover an eye pencil with soft clay. Shape a ribbed screwdriver handle. Take out the pencil and sharpen its blunt end so that it looks like the tip of a screwdriver blade. Paint the pencil silver. Put it into the handle. I want to do my makeup with a screwdriver too. But not with a regular tool. I want a magical one. The fairy is such a creative inventor. Belle has smudged her makeup a bit. She needs to fix it right now. The fairy has a tried and tested method. It's toilet paper. I don't think it will work. But the fairy insists. 
This toilet paper is actually made out of blotting paper. Mark the size of a blotting sheet on an empty paper towel roll. Snip off the excess. Cut a thin strip of double-sided tape and attach a few blotting sheets one by one. Tape the paper to the cardboard roll and wrap it around. Belle blots her face. Now everything is all right! What is glittering on the fairy's finger? It's a ring of sweet dreams and of soft lips because there is lip balm hidden in the ring. Melt some coconut oil and the remains of an old lipstick in a microwave. Add a little edible glitter. Stir. Pour the mixture into a round glitter container. Let the lip balm harden for about an hour and attach the container to a blank ring. Decorate the cap using clear nail polish with glitter. Belle really likes this unusual ring. She just needs one like this in her beauty collection. The Dream Fairy is very generous. She gives the ring to Belle. And returns her back into her bed. Belle wakes up. It's been such a magical dream. Or maybe it hasn't. The ring is still on my finger. Did you like our magical makeup? Then write in your comments what impressed you the most. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new magical ideas on the Troom Troom channel.